Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Saturday. Haven't vlogged in a minute, so I'm gonna pick up the vlog and do some vlogging today and see how it turns out. But right now we're getting ready to meet my mom at the craft show. And I think it's gonna be very folly, cute, and fun. So hopefully find some cute things there. It's my brother's birthday, so we might go to a birthday party later. And then we also have some Halloween crafts that I'll show you guys that we're gonna do. And here's a sneak peek of the crafts that we're gonna do later tonight, hopefully. And these are cute because these ones light up. There's a switch in the back. Mr. Mister is putting on his shoes. He was smart and put elastic on his. Mine I still have to tie. But I got my spooky socks on with my ghosts, which are really cute. Which reminds me, I don't think I even updated anybody on a few things that we actually got. And we're getting very close to our full house tour, actually, which is nice. We have our same bean bags, but we went to Ikea and we got a floor lamp, which is lovely. Ignore the laundry over there. And then we got a coffee table. And we also got our bed frame that came in that we were obsessed with. It is a mess in here, so ignore that. But everything is coming together nicely. All right, so a little haul from the craft fair. We got these little washcloth, uh, well, stove cloth dresses. And I'll show you this one. It is so stinking cute. And this one's a cute like fall looking type one, but probably will keep it there year round because it's so adorable. And then I got another one for Christmas time that I'm gonna show you. This is the Christmas one. It's got little snowmen on it and it's got these cute little bows, which I love. And I'm very excited to put this on there for Christmas time. Went to Target to get some stuff for trunk or treat that we're gonna do with my school on Friday of next week. So we picked up, we're gonna do a Pokemon theme. So I'll show you some stuff that we got for that. So this is the cute little Pikachu t-shirt that Jacob is gonna wear. And then this is the one that I got. Super duper cute. I got mine from Walmart. It was like five bucks. And then Jacob's was from Kohl's. So we are very excited to wear these. And then in this way, this kid is uh, hammering something together for his desk at work. His cubicle. And then over here, we are going to bring our Squishmallows for the trunk or treat. So we have all this stuff here. And then we also got these little cute trick or trades to give out to the kids. Hey guys, so I realized that I never finished the vlog that I started a couple days ago. So this vlog is probably gonna be like, over a span of time. Something super cute did happen that I also forgot to vlog. I guess it's kind of a good thing because I'm living in real life, but also I just feel bad. So one cute thing that happened was Jacob left me a boo basket. And for those of you who don't know what that is or haven't heard of it, it's kind of like a little trendy on TikTok where boyfriends and husbands get their girlfriends slash wives a boo basket. So basically for a boo basket, you can go to Target or Walmart or whatever and get a basket. And then you decorate said basket with either fall or spooky things. The key to this is really figuring out if your girlfriend slash wife is a fall girly or a spooky girly. So a spooky girly would be like, they like spooky stuff. They like ghosts, pumpkins, witches, you know, skeletons, spooky things. And then a fall girly is more like, they like candles, blankies, all things fall, flannel, booties, like cute stuff like that. He left me a boo basket and I didn't record footage of it. When I tell you I busted down crying, I mean, it was ugly. There was like, this was disgusting to look at. I was an emotional wreck about it. And we were fighting a lot that week. Probably also why I didn't vlog it is we just were like at each other's throats, real life moments, just feeling really down and depressed on myself a little bit and was not expecting that type of gesture at all. I was sending him those TikToks as a joke, but I didn't actually think he would ever go through with it, but it ended up being super cute. I am going to insert a picture here of what the boo basket looked like. Cue to that. You could probably see from the picture mostly what was in there, but there was a few things that I wanted to show that were 
adorable. The boo basket he got me is over here. It is precious. I love the color. I have a lot of baskets going on over here. Like I've become a basket girl and that's fine, I guess. So these were the flowers that you guys saw. These are from Ikea. I'm obsessed with this vase and I actually handpicked all of the flowers to put in this arrangement. So this was kind of like a DIY moment, which I mean, it's beautiful. Oh, I had a little book lamp that he gave me that I'll show you guys. It's so cute. It's got this little clampy. You clamp onto your book and then a little light switch like this. Whoop. Oh, he got me a lot of treats that are pretty much gone, but I'll try to show you guys what is left. So he did get me some gummy bears in there. Also got me a bag of M&Ms, which are gone, unfortunately, because we all know chocolate is the first to go. And he got me this thing of Publix chocolate chip cookies that are also almost gone. Which I don't even know where all those went because I, your girl did not eat all of those cookies. I don't know who ate all those cookies, probably him. Another thing that was in my boo basket were these cutesy Halloween sockies that he picked out for me. I believe they're all from Target, like this hide and peek or hide and eek. Yeah, hide and eek socks. So these are so cute. There's like pumpkins and ghosts. He also got me like slippers for around the house. So those have jack-o'-lanterns on them. And then these ones are ghosts. So thoughtful, so cute. Funny thing about these guys is that he told me that he couldn't decide which ones to get. So he just got me all of them. Like, who is he? So another thing he got me was this Myers Day hand soap. It's acorn spice scent. It smells like I can't even describe how good this smells. Another reason why this was such a thoughtful gift is because he knows I am allergic to candles, so he couldn't get me a fall candle. That's why I found this to be thoughtful because it was something he knew that I could, that was fall scented that I could tolerate. And I love that so much. He got me this fall soft blankie that was also in there. It is like buttery, soft, smooth, and I love the color. It's perfect for fall. I have my little movie list for Halloween and spooky season up there. Probably the most surprising part of it was that you saw in the picture that there was a piece of paper printed out with Ugg boots on it. Originally, like on my Amazon list, I had Fugs. They look exactly like Uggs. And they came in, but unfortunately they were too small. And this happens quite a lot for me because I have two different size feet. My right foot is a half a size bigger than my left foot. So it's hard for me when they don't sell like half sizes to really fit nicely into a shoe. A lot of the times with boots, especially Uggs and stuff, they don't come in half sizes. I tried them on and they were way too small on my feet. That was gonna be a no-go, not comfy, not gonna happen. I like to wear super cozy and fuzzy socks with my boots, so I specifically want to have extra room in them so i would rather have them be a tad too big we had to return them but you know obviously he still wanted to surprise me with ugg boots i decided that i was gonna order the real uggs that i wanted and kind of compare the sizing and see if they fit me any better or if they were just the same and then i was gonna return them if they still were too tight these ones actually i went and tried them on and they fit like tremendously better than the ones from Amazon. Although the ones at Amazon are like a very good dupe, they were affordable. I would just wear these more because they fit better and I'd rather be comfortable and I would rather spend on quality than anything else. That's just the way that I am personally. Okay, done blabbing. I want to unpack these. The ones I got are these, the platform ultra midi. I can't speak. Platform ultra mini Uggs in a size six. And I'll tell you, these were not easy to find. They are sold out like everywhere. They're even on back order on the actual Uggs website. So if you are trying to find these, good luck. I ordered them off Nordstrom. They only had like two left. And by the time I got on there, there was one left and they actually sold out and then randomly came back for like a couple seconds. So I was able to snag probably the last pair there. This is just what it looks like on the inside. Yes, she's thick. So stinking cute. I mean, love them. Now I will say I was way too lazy to take the other one out so there's just one to model for you but like i'm sorry 
How stinking cute are these boots? I mean, I will be wearing these for the rest of my life. Like bury me in these platform Uggs. They really do run big. So like a six and these fit perfect for my six and a half feet. Like there's plenty of room in the toes. So stinking cute. Are you kidding me? I love these. Thank you, Jacob, for the best spooky boo basket that I've ever received in my whole life. You are the best. Very excited about this fall season. We also have some decorations out that I wanna show you guys. I wanna go to McDonald's at some point and get a boo bucket because I love boo buckets and I think it's so cool and retro that they brought them back. We're gonna be doing some crafts for Halloween. I love spooky season. Let's see what boo bucket color we're gonna get. What color, am I gonna like it? Yeah. What color is my boo bucket gonna be? Purple. <gasps> yes! That's the one I wanted. I'm so excited. Frozen Coke and. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Dracula, which. Sorry. <laughs> now I have a purple one to go with my Boo Bucket collection. Now I just need a green one. And I think I have every color. I'm very happy about this. It's a good McDonald's. I like that one. Very nice people. This is my collection of boo buckets, and I'm feeling festive for the Halloween spooky season. Bam. What's up guys? We just got back from trunk or treat, hence me and my Pokemon outfit. We decorated his trunk with Pokemon stuff and used our Squishmallows and all those fun things. I did not film any of the process because I am a D level vlogger. We'll insert the picture now. And also I'm gonna show you my candy haul. Here is the damage that I did. What'd you get? Did you get trick or treat ice cream? I did, yeah. So did I. I need you to take a bite of that and show me your teeth. Cheese. Oh, God. It's actually pretty good. I think I'd rate it like. I'd still give it like a six or seven. It's pretty good. I give it a, exactly what I'm going to be doing later a soft too. Happy spooky October. We're gonna do our Halloween crafts. We're super excited for it. I'm gonna do this pumpkin. He's gonna do this bat. We haven't pulled the tabs to see what they look like lit up. So we're gonna see what they look like now. Wow. Oh, mine's busted. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, this is blue. Mine's blue. Wow. That's cool. I'll show you guys the setup that we're working with. So here's the setup and the vibes. We got our waters, we're gonna get our paintbrushes going and we'll check in during the process. And then we're also gonna put something spooky on the TV and just have ourselves a little time. Update, this is the pumpkin that I did. And this is Jacob's bat. Super proud. <laughs> Yay. So this is now the setup we got going on and we just painted these guys. They look great. We are loving it. Looking good. I think this is gonna be the end of this vlog and then I'm gonna do a Halloween specific vlog. But for the end of this um, Halloween prep, October-y type of vlog, I'm gonna do a haul of a few things that I got this weekend. First thing that came in finally was this token board t-shirt so me and all of my co-workers um are going to be token boards for halloween at school i'm going to be doing a couple different halloween costumes this year i think i'm going to get a headband and have little star gold stars on it next thing i'm going to do for halloween is me and jacob usually do uh, a couple's halloween and for ours we're going to do well i won't tell you right now i'll leave it a surprise for the next vlog but i'll show you some of the things that we got so i can prep and then reveal it in the next one. Maybe you'll catch on to what it is, maybe you won't. 
But here is a top I got. Picked this up the other day. So it's a little black bustier. It's really the only part of my costume that I bought. The rest I'm just gonna use out of stuff that I have already. H&M white button down jacket, which we're also gonna, I'm gonna get creative with and DIY some stuff to it to make it look more like who we're being and stay tuned to see what we're gonna be. Piplup, it's the Piplup Squishmallow and we were supposed to get it in in time for the trunk or tree and we did not sadly because the Claire's at my mall was moving and I was not able to pick him up in time. But we're happy to have him. If you're looking for Pipple Up, go to Claire's. He's adorable, he's cute. He's still gonna be added to our collection. We went to box lunch yesterday when we were in the mall and I picked up this cutie patootie Hello Kitty squish mallow that I'm going to add to my collection. I have a problem. Next thing I got from box lunch, this cute little Hello Kitty and friends pin. I'm on like a little bit of a Hello Kitty kick. This is the last one at the store and I'm so glad I grabbed it. I'm gonna add it to my pin collection up there. Here's my pin collection in case you have never seen it. At Target yesterday, I picked up this. I'm gonna use this to create Jacob's jacket costume. I'm gonna do a little bit of DIY. We found this little mini sew. I think it's called mini sew. Is it called mini sew? Mini sew. Mini sew. Mini sew. Japanese girly girly store. I think I'm a Japanese five below. Japanese five below. And they have all like those cutesy wootsy things that I'm obsessed with. Little hair clippies, which are so stinking cute. I got these cutesy little keychains. This one's a My Melody one. Also had to get a cinema roll one. Last thing I got there was this little My Melody wallet. I'm gonna put, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna put my stuff, my cards and stuff in here. All right, well, that's all I have for you for this vlog. Stay tuned for the next one for more Halloween fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.